Have you ever wondered why AI responses sound repetitive, too formal, or slightly robotic? Let's talk about how the response generation process works. When you type a prompt, the model first breaks it down into tokens. Tokens are small pieces of text such as whole words or even parts of a word. For example, unhappy might be split into un and happy. Most models use a transformer architecture that understands how all the tokens relate to one another. Each of these tokens is then converted into a list of numbers called an embedding by the transformer. These embeddings capture the meaning of the token based on patterns to the model's training data. The model starts off with a word, and using the embeddings created, the model predicts the next word to add to the output sequence, and repeats this until the response is complete. The model doesn't plan what it's going to say ahead of time, or know how the sentence will end when it starts. It simply detects patterns from the training data, and uses probabilities to generate what most likely should go next, kind of like the word suggestions you see when texting on your phone. A responses can feel unusual because the model generates a text step by step, and a small mistake early on can shift the direction completely. When unsure, it may default to vague, repetitive answers. Temperature settings control randomness, where lower values make the output more predictable, and higher ones increase variety and risk. The model's tone and style also depend on training, model type, and system settings. Today, we learned how AI builds responses one token at a time using probabilities. If you want to keep learning, Ivy has a free prompt engineering guide project on Cognitive Class where you can learn to use AI more effectively.